Good morning, everyone. This lighting is awful. But I am in the East Village because today I finally decided it is time for me to leave my apartment and get some actual real world stimulation because my ass has been inside for like a good three weeks because I honestly every time I go outside I feel like something happens like I don't know if you guys are on New York TikTok and I've seen that lady who's punching people on West 4th yeah wanted to avoid that though I will say part of me kind of wishes someone would try to throw hands at me because I have 20 years worth of rage that could protect me which probably isn't a good thing to admit out loud but doesn't everybody have like a secret desire to go and just like fight someone and like pummel them at least once Please say yes, otherwise that's a very embarrassing confession to be making on the internet. Rather than doing that, because committing simple assault is illegal and I guess morally wrong, we're going to a bookstore. Let's go. <laughs> just got back from the first bookstore i always do this every time i go and get books like i go in with a list and then if i don't see the book that i want then i end up looking at like seven million books and i just stand there looking like a doofus because i want to buy something and like support a local business but also i can find this book for maybe a third of the price in a bookstore on amazon it's just ugh. anyways i'm taking a short break before i head to another bookstore in the area because i do want to get at least one piece of literature before i leave so I have something to take home with me to force me to do something other than just drown out my thoughts with like TV and music. So I'm sitting here and relaxing to live.
It's strawberry condensed milk and matcha flavored. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, it's actually really good. I remember seeing these like mochi demos my entire life in TV shows and thinking like there's no way those are real. It looks too good when it's drawn out like that, but these are amazing and I totally get why everybody loves them so much. I'm so glad it tastes as good as it looks because that would have been really freaking disappointing. But overall, today was a really good day. Really. New York. Went to my two bookstores, got books that I actually wanted, had a really, really good lunch. There is a bee. In all, you know, I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, like I've had a lot of trouble recently really getting out of the house because I feel like there's just so much anxiety within me for no reason, especially when it comes to leaving, that taking the step today, as minor as it was, yeah, I really didn't do anything. I went around the same like eight blocks. It was a huge accomplishment and it was like a testament to my own nerves and my own <laughs> bravery, quite honestly. I think I've been pretty burnt out with the whole like job search and also trying to find something that's like fulfilling in life and not gonna make me feel like I'm just a corporate cog and a nine to five job. It's so difficult to balance like the logical thing you're supposed to do versus like what you actually want to do. And that kind of anxiety has been following me this entire month. Can you even hear me? What is this? I've had a lot of difficulty lately following through with shit. Personally, I blame it on Virgo season, which is really weird because the whole point of Virgo season is supposed to mean like putting things into action and getting shit done, but that just didn't happen for me. Now, I mentioned this in like a video or two ago about this like immense feeling of guilt whenever it feels like I'm not owning up to the things that I want to do or if I complain about something that I feel like I'm not allowed to or can complain about, which feels stupid because who the fuck decides that kind of stuff anyways. And, you know, one of the main reasons I chose to come out and do something as little as it was, which was just going to some bookstores, some stationery stores and just getting a meal with myself was proving to my own anxiety that much of the things that I fear and much of the things that seems to be holding me back is very much dictated by my own absurd caution for failure which is dumb because I'm allowed to not always follow through with the things that I promised myself. As long as it doesn't hurt other people, I'm not, I don't have to be perfect. I'm not fucking perfect at all. That's why I'm sitting out here by myself eating mochi and talking to myself. <laughs> this irrational fear is like making me forget that I actually like exist as a person and I'm allowed to do things that a person would do, which is just wander around doing absolutely nothing rather than be a part of this capitalist economy that makes no fucking sense. Especially since I woke up this morning and the first article I saw was the US government was running out of money, whatever the fuck that means. Don't we just, money is not even real, it's paper, it doesn't make any sense, how can we run out of it? It's been a long month. I'm excited for Libra season, I'm excited for October to start because I kind of just want everything that's happened to me in the past month to just be washed out of my memory forever. So thank you for following along this random vlog where I really didn't do anything except try to prove to myself that I can be alone and that I'm not as lazy and fearful of going out and doing things that I want to do as I think I am. Go out, get an ice cream cone, go wander around the mall or something. It doesn't really matter. Just get your ass outside and do something for yourself. I'll see you guys later.